So last year, Hereditary came out and it made a big smash in the horror genre. <laughs> It was a very cool movie. I'm never going to forget it. And a brand new movie from the same director and writer, Ari Aster, is out now. It's called Midsummer, and I just got out of it, and I'm completely fucked up. Don't you swear at me, you little shit! It is a totally twisted story, and it's really hard for me to kind of encapsulate everything that I've just witnessed and just gone through as an individual. What's happening? Kind of felt the same way in Hereditary, but I felt like that one went a little bit more esoteric and super supernatural. This one is, I think, a little bit more meditative and a little bit more of a deep dive into theological tradition and how that can look incredibly weird and bizarre from the outside and how it can also be incredibly seductive for people. Skull! We follow this young woman named Danny, played by Florence Pugh, who is terrific in this film. She goes through a nightmare situation at the beginning of the movie. I was so very sorry to hear about what happened. And then is kind of brought along with her boyfriend and his buds to a uh, commune in the woods in Sweden. So right away, you know, for most of the North American horror stuff that we see, this trip into Europe and into the uh, backwoods of Europe is going to feel a little odd and a little bit sort of unique, you know, because we don't normally get to see this kind of world in a lot of the stuff that Hollywood presents for us, which is quite thrilling, actually. I was uh, captivated by the idea of that right from the get-go. So what we see is that there's this uh, happy little village where everybody has uh, got beautific smiles on their faces and flowers in their hair. They're all singing and chanting and it looks incredibly supportive, but slowly but surely we start to see through the cracks that everything isn't as pristine as it appears upon first blush. We get to see that there's some real darkness there and some traditions that are just plain freaky as hell. Is it scary? Ari Aster has this uh, penchant for, you know, keeping the camera on awful and disturbing things a little longer than we're normally used to. We see some squishy stuff happen to the human body, which which is really unsettling. Also one of the most unsettling sex scenes I've ever seen on screen before. In fact, this is one of the most unsettling things I've ever seen on screen. This whole movie was unsettling. It was unnerving right from the beginning and it doesn't let up. It was another one of these horror movies where I'm watching it going, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I putting myself through this? Especially, I, I mean, I'm shooting this review in a back alley here trying to kind of create a sense of, you know, darkness and dread. It's not working, uh, but it's a beautiful sunny day here in Vancouver. It's a summer day, midsummer, as you might say, and it's very surreal to leave a matinee early screening of this movie and walk out into the bright sunset and people are smiling and just over the shoulder of the camera here, people are enjoying a nice lunch. And I'm talking about one of the most twisted things I've ever seen in my life. That sounds fun. It was well made. It's well photographed, it's well crafted. The writing is really well done and the acting is amazing. Everybody is very competent in their roles. There are some logic issues because deaths start happening in the movie relatively early. And it's one of those situations where it's like, get the hell out of there, run, get, what are you doing? Go, don't stay, get the fuck out. But they stay, and then bad shit starts to happen, you know? Wouldn't be a horror movie if that didn't happen. I want to go. It feels like it should be more intelligent than that, and the protagonists, the characters that we're following, feel like they should be more intelligent than that. They're not. Absolutely not. There's some dread that just happens. Danny, Florence Pugh's character, is wailing away in just complete sadness, and she's just crying and screaming and it's guttural and it's 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 just unbelievably powerful and then it's punctuated by the the musical score of the film and we have that theme pop up again later on where people are just crying and screaming and it's it becomes part of the music of this movie and if that to you sounds like a good time or like it's gonna be super chilling and well-crafted and cool and you like those shocks and those scares and maybe you loved Hereditary, I think you're gonna be in heaven with Midsummer. I was not, but I certainly appreciated the filmmaking and the confidence and I'm really looking forward to whatever Ari Aster has got up his sleeve for the next one and hopefully it won't make me feel sick to my stomach. I did enjoy this movie, I did appreciate it. I just feel really creeped out. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10.